And then from here, all you do is you unbolt using a uh, 14 mil. I'll unbolt the three screws and this strut should actually just drop down. Okay, so now that's loose. All you do is you get this over, so lift the strut over this and you'll be free to go. Let's see if I could do this with two hands or one hand. There you go. All right, so that's the um, the old strut out. It's much easier this way, of course, if you take out these two upper control arms up here. Um, and then make sure to support this with uh, some sort of bungee because there is a brake line here that you don't want to have pulling over here at this fitting up there. So make sure this is loose. Just connect this bungee somehow. Now there's no tension on these. And we have a good, probably 10 threads on there. Guys, uh, just one important part, it's easy to miss. This bump stop right here, make sure that it's pressed into this actual metal housing before um, you put the boot over. And this boot will clip in as well. It sits in there like that. So really important is to line up this top pointy part of the um, new strut mount. You're going to line that up perfectly with that uh, U-shaped mount on the bottom of the strut. So while this is still compressed, you put your new strut mount in, you put your pad in, this little pad that goes on the bottom. with the new bolt and then as you tighten that up after it's all tightened you're gonna want to have at least six to seven threads on top of this bolt showing when that's done you can remove the tension from these uh, spring compressors